Hey, what's going on guys? I got another review for you. This is another Shea Moisture product, and I have actually been looking for this product for a while now, and I finally found it, so I'm able to do a review for you. I got a few uses out of it. So this product right here is from a recently brand new line of Shea Moisture. This is the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Refer Oil Intensive Hydration Conditioner. This is what it looks like, and by the way, the label is actually quite pretty. I like it. It has a nice pattern on it, and it's from this community commerce for fighting poverty. It has a little um, sticker right here, in here, and underneath it, it gives you information and whatnot, and it gives you your usual stuff on the back. It's supposed to be a dry hair recipe, and of course, it's sulfate free and color safe. Make sure it's positions. I found this at Target, and I believe you can find um, at least maybe three other products of the Manuka Honey and Mephora Oil line over at certain Target stores. I don't know if you can find them at Walgreens. If you can, please tell me. Me, that would make me a really happy person. But I know for a fact you can find this at Walgreens, and I believe this conditioner is... <laughs> Was it $9.99 or $10.99? I think it was $9.99. And it might be a little bit lower if you get it on sale. But, yeah, it was $9.99 if you get it on sale, I believe. But either way, I finally found this. And I just happened to stumble upon this when I was just roaming my usual Target store. Just browsing. And I happened to see this. And I was wondering what, the, what this product actually was. So the last time I came back there, I decided to buy this conditioner and said, hey, I'll just give this a shot. I gotta tell you, this conditioner is actually pretty good. It, it does a pretty decent job for my hair. I won't say it makes my hair super soft, but it keeps it in good shape. Uh, it's, it's pretty much like any other conditioner I would use. It just, it just gets the job done. Now it does have um, pretty good oils in it, it does have your usual shea oil and African rock fig extract and stuff like that, and the smell is actually pretty sweet and sort of fruity. I actually kind of like the smell, and the conditioner itself is easy to dispense, I don't know if you can see it or show up, it's kind of slipping over to the side. It has a decent amount of slip. It, I was actually pretty surprised when I used it because it does have a very good amount of slip. Not the kind of slip that I would get when I would use an Herbal Essences conditioner just for detangling. But the slip is pretty decent enough and I can run it. And because it's a nice creamy consistency, I can run it easily through my hair. But more importantly, I love the fact that it is a white base conditioner. A white colored conditioner, which I will show you in just a moment here. So, as you can see, it is a white base conditioner here. And this is actually a very good thing. Why, you ask? Because I color my hair, and because I tend to color my hair different colors, I like to mix up two colors ahead of time. So I can use a nice little base to work with. And because this conditioner is a white base, I can easily mix my colors in there and then add it straight to my hair. So not only would I be deep conditioning my hair, I would be coloring it as well. So this being a uh, white colored conditioner is a big bonus for me. I tend to use this stuff as a deep conditioner, which means I would slap it on and then leave it on for about 35 to 45 minutes before I rinse it out. And like I said before, it does the job very well. So yeah. This conditioner is pretty good. I can see myself purchasing this again, and it is color safe, but mostly I just, I would see myself using this conditioner simply as a base for um, any two colors, hair colors that I want to mix together and then apply, or I usually just add my oil or some honey to it, even though it already has honey in it, but I usually add those when I want to make it a bit stronger. I want, it's pretty much a healthy dose of moisture if you understand me i'm not gonna say that it is one of the best conditioners out there but it's a pretty decent conditioner now i do have yet to try the mat the intensive hydration mask which i will be getting to getting to soon but as for now this conditioner is pretty good and i like it I like it and i would actually purchase it again again if i didn't have the money to afford the mask or if i didn't want to feel like trying the mask but all in all, this is a really good conditioner, and yeah, I would try again. 
it keep it gets the job done and keeping my hair in shape but that's my review on it uh props up to shea moisture for the packaging i do like the fact that they packaged it in an amber bottle instead of your typical clear bottle i do love the packaging i think they should start packaging their stuff like this more often because i love the label but that's pretty much my review on it if you tried this product before let me know in the comments below i would love to hear how it worked for you and if you like my review my short review a thumbs up is always appreciated if you want more please hit the subscribe button but yeah this is my review on this product and i will be trying um the other three products in the shea moisture line or at least well at least some in this line but um I've just been really busy, but stuff, stuff has been coming up, but I will be getting to the other products in this particular line here. So that's my review, and thanks for tuning in, and I will see you soon.